back again with another video coming at you from ChooseYourRelationships.com. Bow. Off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. So I've got a question here. Um, dude said, read my books, uh, looked at a bunch of my videos, and he wants to put his friends on to my content. And he said, I even tried to put my friends on Hidden Colors, the movie, the, the documentary by Dreet and Sheed. But my friends, family members, don't, they're not feeling it. What kind of advice would you give me on this? Yeah, so basically he was saying... He's a fan of what I do. He's a fan of what the Hidden Colors Tariq Nasheed documentary. But his friends and family not feeling it. <sighs> Look, man. <clears throat> I'm not trying to wake nobody up. If people aren't awake, let them stay asleep. I'm not trying to convince nobody of anything. You can't convince nobody of anything. If you're trying to convince anybody to make a decision to, to do anything, you've already lost. You've already lost. You, you're not going to win that battle. Um, just give your friends and family a hug. And go about your business. That's all you can do. You can't force them to read the book or look at the DVD. If they're not feeling it, they're just not feeling it. It's just some, some of our um, family members and friends are just cowards. We just have to be honest about it. It is what it is. Now, here's, here's what I would say. It's easy once you become enlightened. If you're awake, it's easy to become jaded and judgmental. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because I used to do that. I used to, you know, kind of, um, once I started hanging around older and wiser people, and I started reading a, a lot of books, I started traveling and went in the military, all that good stuff. I started to, to to name call. I used to call people dumb, you're stupid, you know, you're being taken advantage of, and you don't realize it. I'm trying to look out for you, and you don't have enough self-respect for yourself to stand up for yourself. I used to do that. I used to become jaded and judgmental. I used to call people names. I used to call them names because if I didn't see them standing up for themselves, or if I seen them kiss ass, I used to, I used to, uh, I, I used to get in the name calling. I'm like, I'm trying to look out for you, but your best interest, you don't have enough self-respect for yourself. Don't do that. Don't do that. Look, some of these people are just not going to make it. Some people you're going to have, just leave them behind. You don't got to cut them off. But you can't cut your family off. You don't got to necessarily cut your friends off. Just spend less time around them. That's all. You know, if they don't want to talk about certain things, talk about what what they want to talk about. If they get uncomfortable when you talk about something that's going on uh, around the world or maybe in the media, just talk about what they want to talk about. That's all. That's all I do. I don't... If, if I feel like they're going to get uncomfortable about something, I just won't talk about it at all. Or I'll just, or if I get a sense that they're about to get uncomfortable, I'll just change the subject. Start talking about something else. And some of our friends and family are just cowards. It is what it is. We just have to come to, we just got to keep it real. We just got to be honest. You know, 
And sometimes, if you know better, you feel obligated to do better. But with that, at times, you might feel like you're by yourself. You, you, I'm not talking by yourself physically, I'm talking mentally. Because you might have your friends and family all around, but y'all not really on the same page. You trying to be great. You trying to take care of your family and put them in the best position to succeed with the next generation of kids. The rest of these people around you, they just want to have a good time. Drink, smoke. So yeah, that's, it's, it's kind of like a gift and a curse. When you know better, people don't really like being around smart people. The masses of people. The majority of them don't like being around smart people. Not people like me, anyway. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh hell, yeah, they're cool being around the other groups of people. No problem. But me? Some of us? Yeah. Majority of us? No. <laughs> I'm just keeping it 100. That's the truth. That's the truth. Really. I'm not a, unless you're a pastor, preacher, priest. Celebrity, but if you're just a average Joe in your town and you start speaking empowerment, start talking about uplifting people, now most people are going to be turned off by that because they don't like the messenger. Now, what it is, most of the time, they don't want you to say it. They don't want to hear it from you. Now, if somebody else can say the same thing, they'll be like, he's great. You know? See, some people have double standards. They have biases. That's just reality. And your family, your friends, they're no different. They have biases, too. Look, the brainwash is real out here. So, look. Some people, you just got to let them go. Spend less time with them. Everybody ain't going to make it anyway out of here. They're not making it already. People can't even make it to 40 without getting sick. They can't. You know? So, but the easiest thing you can do is, is become jaded and judgmental. Don't do that. Get them a hug. Get them a pound. Spend less time with them. You might have to let some people go, though. If you're married, you might have to let your wife go or your husband go. Because what happens is um, a lot of couples become, they get competitive amongst each other. That, that usually happens. And if you try to do anything, if one person tries to do anything, the person that knows more, they're going to, more than likely, they're going to try to do more. Because they feel obligated to do more. And that makes sense. But the other person, nine times out of ten, is going to sabotage whatever that person is trying to do. It happens all the time. So you might have to get rid of your spouse or your husband. It is what it is. But if it's your brother, your sister, your cousin, just spend less time with them. Or your friends, spend less time with them. That's all. And even some of your friends, you might have to let them go because they become so toxic. <sighs> hey, man. It's hard out in these streets. <laughs> hey, man. It's not easy out here, man. I'm telling you. But hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share this video. And tell me what do you do? What's been your experience? As far as uh, when you know better, 
and you try to put your friends and family on? What's been your experience? Leave your comments below. Until next time, I'm out. Peace!